Friends, today I am going to explain a movie called Centigrade. At the beginning of the movie, it shows that a married couple is going to attend a small book event, and this movie is based on a true incident. Then it is shown that a car is completely covered with snow. A woman named Naomi gets out of the car and sees that her entire car is covered with snow. She tries to open the car door, but it's of no use. None of the doors open. Then Naomi lifts her husband Matt, and he also tries to open the door, but none of the doors can be opened. Then Matt tries to start the car to melt the snow, but unfortunately, due to the snow, the engine becomes too cold, and the car cannot be started. Now, because of all this, the pregnant Naomi gets very nervous, who is eight months pregnant. While Matt tries to calm her down and assures her that everything will be fine, Naomi loses her patience when Matt tries to open the back door of the car. She tells her husband that he is responsible for whatever is happening, and not to worry. According to Naomi, if they drive for at least two more hours, they would reach a place where people live and where they could rest. However, Matt tells her that it was very dangerous to cross the snowy storm in the middle of the night, so they had to stop where they were. You know, their argument continues, but then it calms down after a while. As soon as their argument subsides, Naomi calls someone for help using her phone, but unfortunately, her phone does not have any network coverage. It is not just his phone, which has only 50% battery, meaning he has to use it sparingly. Then Matt pulls out a map so he can get an idea of where he is and tells his wife, don't worry, if a car comes, we'll stop it. Matt does everything to keep his pregnant wife calm, even telling her jokes to make her laugh. Meanwhile, the snowstorm outside is getting worse and that's when he remembers that a man had given him a roadside kit as a gift, which is still in the car. Matt then looks through his belongings inside the car and finds a blanket, a candle, and many other things. Meanwhile, the storm outside continues to intensify. Naomi has to washroom inside the car because there is no feed available, and they also try to save the food that they packed for their journey, as they do not know when they will be able to leave this place. After eating the food, Naomi estimates that they have around 12 days of food left. Then Matt suggests that they should also eat the chocolates that they brought with them, but Naomi refuses because she promised to give them to her sister. Now things are getting darker gradually. Naomi tells her husband to break the car window and dig through the snow to get out of there. But this idea does not sit well with Matt because he does not know the situation outside, and it is possible that the weather may be too cold. Therefore, Matt decides to stay inside the car, which makes Naomi very angry, and they start arguing again. However, in the end, Naomi has to calm down, and now four days have passed like this and she is still stuck in the car. The outside temperature is getting very cold. Now Matt decides to eat sparingly to save food. He saves food for his pregnant wife because she needs to eat more at this time, and then when Matt is sleeping, his leg accidentally touches the bottle of water and the water falls down, and Matt becomes very upset and scolds his wife for not closing the bottle of water, and they start arguing again. Now when both of them are asleep, they hear someone walking on the car, and they wake up. Now they are very happy that someone has finally come here to help, but for some reason, people outside ignore their cries for help. Because of this, Naomi gets very disappointed while Matt calms her down by telling her that everything will be okay. After being trapped inside the car for a week due to snow, Matt uses a candle to warm up the car's windows so that he can break them. Naomi doesn't have anything to do, so she starts playing with her phone like a toy and accidentally drops it, causing it to break and the battery to come out. She picks up the pieces and miraculously, the phone starts working and she gets network connectivity. Naomi immediately calls her father and tearfully tells him how their car got trapped inside the snow and they need help urgently, but she doesn't know where they are. But while talking, the phone battery dies and now Matt is a little worried and starts scolding Naomi, asking why she didn't tell him if there was network on her phone. Matt tells them the exact location where they are stuck and they have been in this situation for nine days now. 
Naomi wishes that they hadn't attended the small book event, then they wouldn't have been stuck in these circumstances. She asks Matt to eat something, but he refuses, saying he wants to save as much food as possible for his wife and their upcoming child. Naomi asks Matt again to break the car window, but he still refuses, thinking that once the window is broken, they won't have any place to hide their heads, and now it's been 11 days, and it seems like the storm will never end, and Naomi's trust begins to slowly break down, and she asks her husband to write a letter because she's not sure they will survive. Now Matt gets annoyed and says that they both will definitely get out of here alive. After a while, they hear the sound of a vehicle that is coming to remove the snow from the road. They shout loudly so that someone can hear them, but unfortunately, they are unable to do anything and the vehicle passes by, and Matt breaks down and starts crying. Now it's Naomi's turn to calm him down. It's the 15th day now, after being trapped in the car for two weeks, they are running out of drinking water. What they had is now gone. Matt tries to get some snow from outside to melt and drink, and then at night, Naomi starts having stomach pains, which means she is going into labor. Then she takes off her clothes and starts breathing heavily. And then she removes the upper part of the car seat and starts breaking the window, which makes Matt wake up. Now seeing all this, Matt tries to calm his wife down and tells her to be quiet and try to stay calm. After calming down, Matt sees that his wife is about to give birth to a baby soon. Naomi is very scared because neither of them knows anything about the doctor's studies or delivery. However, with the help of her husband, Naomi successfully delivers a healthy baby girl in a miraculous way, and they are both very happy that despite all the difficulties, they were able to safely deliver the baby. Matt then picks up the blanket and puts the baby inside a box. Now, it is the 70th day, and a small family is somehow peaceful, naming their little daughter Olivia. On the 20th day, Matt's health starts to deteriorate, feeling a significant lack of appetite. He cannot bear to see his baby girl sick. Therefore, Matt takes off his jacket and gives it to her so that she does not get sick. Despite being weak, Matt continues to try to remove the snow from the car's edges, but he quickly becomes very tired, and due to the accumulating temperature, he feels very hot, which means that he has a fever, and he falls asleep without a jacket. However, the next day, when Naomi asks Matt to get some water, he doesn't respond. At first, Naomi thinks he must be in a deep sleep, but when she tries to wake him up, she realizes that he has passed away. She loses the man she loves, and her daughter Oliver also loses her father. Now, without her husband, Naomi struggles to get water out of the well. Her food has also run out, and she becomes very depressed. She is willing to eat anything just to stay alive. One night, Naomi hears the sound of a car passing by, but as usual, she can't do anything about it. This makes her even more miserable. Then, the little girl starts crying because she's hungry, and Naomi tries to give her some milk, but she can't because her own body is weak. She becomes hopeless and is forced to eat her own placenta to survive. However, after some time, she is able to feed the child milk and the child's hunger is satisfied. Later at night, Naomi lies next to her deceased husband and begins to talk to herself out of hunger and despair. She takes off her sweater and uses it to keep Olivia warm. Now it is the 24th day. A little sunlight shines inside the car and a drop of water falls on Naomi, waking her up. She realizes that it is melting and without thinking, Naomi jumps straight into the snow and after being stuck under the snow for a long time, she feels a great relief as she looks up at the bright sky above. She takes all her necessary belongings with her and puts her child in a bag before leaving. Before leaving, she says goodbye to her husband for the last time and then starts walking on the snowy road after leaving the car. She sees a sign by the side of the road which shows that there are people living nearby. Then Naomi walks for several hours for her daughter and the sun sets, and finally she sees a building in front of her. She smiles widely upon seeing it and at the end of the movie, show that Naomi and her children were taken to the nearby hospital. 
Experts believe that she was able to survive the hypothermia due to the igloo effect which protected her from the cold outside. Today, Naomi writes books and dedicates all her work to her deceased husband. And friends, this is where the movie ends. How did you like this movie? Please let me know in the comments and if you like the video, please like it. Also, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.